Gina and Damon, congratulations to the two of you on this film. This is perfect for me for Valentine's Day because I love it when I get a romantic comedy that's actually romantic and funny because I was laughing throughout. Yay, thank oh, you. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, it was so much fun. One of my favorite parts in the movie, of course, is when the, your group of friends, the players, are doing all these crazy plays in order to meet someone. And I'm curious what's the craziest thing you've done to meet someone you've really wanted to meet. It doesn't necessarily have to be personal, but maybe that you were at a party and there was like another actor there you really wanted to meet or something. Gina, what's the craziest thing you've done to meet someone? I mean, is like following Meryl Streep into the bathroom at the Golden Globes creepy? <laughs> Uh, I mean, depends if if, if she's in the stall and you're like talking to her. Yeah, maybe just like puking over <laughs> the yeah, side. Just like, <laughs> just what you doing, Meryl? What are you doing? Do you need some toilet paper? Like um, <laughs> number one and number two? Yeah, just taking all the rollouts. <laughs> you're so number she... one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I did that. Maybe I didn't do that. Um, yeah, I, I I try to fare on the not as creepy side of playing people, but. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Do you have anything, David? Do Do I? <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but um, I really wanted this movie, so I mailed myself to the director's house. Yeah. Fed In a full box. FedEx, yeah. <laughs> like a puppy, Yeah, right? put a little fragile sign on there. <laughs> they didn't listen. A lot of bruises, but it was worth it. I got the part. It was worth it. You got the part. And, yeah. you know, you can't profess your love to me anytime because at the end I was just crying. And I feel like, Damon, you were crying real tears, too. I honestly, the, the one line in the movie that makes me go, was uh, when she's in the, in the, in the uh, she's arguing with Tom Ellis's character. And he says something really mean. And she just, like, stops and she goes, I wanted this so bad. I was just like, <laughs> felt that. that was, you ever yeah, really, that was, you ever really, yeah. you're really good at making people want to cry with you. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It's so sweet. Well, another big part of the film that I loved is Max's nervousness to make that next step in her career. She has like a lot of anxiety of putting herself fully out there. And I'm wondering in your careers as actors, if there's ever been a time where you were particularly scared to maybe, maybe it was taking on another role or taking on a project. Gina, has that been a point for you? I think I always have a bit of nervousness going into absolutely every role because mm -hmm. you, it matters. Like you care so much and you want to do your best. And it's so, it's such an interesting medium to making art and I don't know how many people are really aware of what like set looks like and how you have to really avoid your own whatever you're going through in life your own physical ailments your own because when it's time to perform there's no waiting for you to get over whatever you're getting you're going through as a human being right outside of this so I find that there's always so much nervousness and anxiety going into each role because you just want to you just want to give it your all, and, and you got to kind of put life on hold, and it's wild. It's a wild experience. Being a part of a, a television show, mm. um, I did the show called Happy Endings, and we never felt confident about it staying on air. Like, mm -hmm. every week was kind of like, how are the ratings? So that feeling of, like, anxiety that, it, you know, like your career can just be ripped from under you is, uh, I don't think that goes away, especially with television. Um, yeah, I'm feeling yeah. that right now. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like, here's open. Yeah. Like, three more people watch. Does it matter? And they don't tell you anything either. It's weird. That's and then you know you're doing good work, but you're also like, is it enough? You know? And it doesn't translate. Yeah. Right? Really good work doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter how no. good it is. No, it's like, if people aren't watching it. Yeah. It's a wild, wow. that's a wild yeah. experience. Oh, man, you just made me so nervous. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Don't That's you not, know not for your here. show. It was for happy ending. No, but I feel that so yeah. strongly. Oh. It's so real. Aww. Well, you have no reason to be nervous. Fans are absolutely gonna love this, and I'm so excited for see, for uh, audiences to see players when it's out on Valentine's Day. And Gina, I have to say, Annihilation is one of my favorite movies of all time. Mine too. Yes, I spoke with Natalie Portman a few months ago for her Netflix film, May, December, and I said the same thing to her. I would love to see you in another Alex Garland film. Oh, same. Alex, where you at? Let's do another one. Alex. He is yes. brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> that was a really interestingly bizarre, fantastic, exhilarating experience. Mm -hmm.
It was. And yeah. I, yeah, I think it's one of your best performances of all time. They are wrapping me. Thank you both so Thank much you. for your time. And I'm so excited for everyone to see players. Thank you all so much. Thank no reason you. to be nervous. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Joel, Liza, and Augustus, how are the three of you today? So Very good. Well. Thank you. Yes. Nice awesome. to see you on. Yes. Okay. I want to infiltrate myself in this friend group. I was <laughs> obsessed on. with they. Yeah, it was Come so Come on in. Play, play on us. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. For real. I'm like, you guys need to teach me. Teach me all the ways. I absolutely <laughs> had the best time with this movie. I was laughing throughout. Augustus, your character says re reprogramming simple dude brain is like landing on the moon. I was so dying. Terrified. All of you. Yes. All of you guys had fantastic moments. Oh yes. <gasps> he made that one up. Did he I improvised that, that one? one. He did it. Or maybe you improvised that? I can't remember. Was that, <laughs> was that, was that I don't know. My don't lines. Know. We, we improvised a lot of that movie. Yeah. We just made each oh other laugh. Oh, all, all day, every day, we yeah. just made each other laugh. That was kind of the goal. Yeah. yeah. They it was somehow just... took our reality TV show and turned it into a movie, but this yeah. was all bit. real. This was our banter. <laughs> oh, there were cameras? They were filming that? Oh, oh that was wow. Um, <laughs> Anderson provided a brilliant script, but yes. Oh, my goodness. He the went best, off. The best, the best script. Best but it was like, you know, it was a real collaboration, and, and we... We had a really good time. This one is the best at like 4 a.m. one-liners. <laughs> Absolutely. We shot so much at night because we're shooting in New York and everything has to be shut down, right? And all the people you do see are hired to be there. So everything was from like 2 a.m. till yeah. 6 a.m. It was a big night shoot movie. Yeah. yeah. Trish C., our director, a brilliant beast of a director, induced chaos by making us stay up late and go to sleep yeah. at night. And this one between Seven. takes, she's just like churning out hilarious lines. And sharing them too, giving oh, them yeah. to us. They thought it was funny because it was real late, but uh, yeah, they, most of them got nixed, but we tried. <laughs> I love that. You guys clearly had the best time making this movie, and I love that you're all friends. Um, I mean, of course, my favorite parts are when the group of friends are doing all of these crazy plays to meet people. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, what is the craziest thing each of you has done to meet someone? It doesn't necessarily need to be personal, but maybe you're at an event and you like really wanted to meet someone. Joel, what have you done? What's the craziest thing you've done to meet someone? Um... I think I maybe like bumped into a guy one time that I was like trying to like I wanted to introduce or say like hey saw your film huge fan da 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 but I didn't know how to like approach him and didn't have the guts to maybe just like do the whole like hey man like just go up and introduce so I maybe like bumped into like oh sorry um oh hey loved your film dude so that kind of thing maybe oh you did the Can tactical smooth? bump yeah yeah the okay, tactical that's bump fun. bump play the bump play play the bump play the play, bump play, play. Yeah, okay that's good about you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what? Say it. It's What's fine. Any rating. Any TV rating. Um. I was at a party once, and someone was someone was kind of all naked in the hot tub, and I might go in the hot tub with them. Yes. <laughs> Hey, that was me. It was uh, actually the same party that my 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 now husband was also at that party, but I had I didn't meet him that night. That wasn't your husband in the hot tub. He was he wasn't in the hot no. tub. No. Oh no, he was in the room no. next door. No, he was he was the next night. Oh. oh. But you met him that night. You gave him a little. Tea he was at that party, but we must have walked past each other, and I don't know. No way. And then I saw him the next next day at, at another party. I go to a lot oh of parties, God. I guess. Yeah, I need to go to more. Um, I haven't I haven't had a play recently. I need to get out. Tell them the, tell them the line. You know the oh, line. Oh, the pickup line? The line that works on you that mm -hmm. I love. It's my favorite. Okay, they love this line, and it's going to become a compilation. <laughs> 99 people in the room. It really will. A compilation. <laughs> um, the line is, that was used on me. Hey, baby girl, did you fart? Because it smells like ass, and it's making me hungry. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Which would 100%. Ooh. Like, Ooh. I don't know I think to... you should. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I think that should be read out at your funeral. That's, like, that's, on your, that's, on your, that's on my tombstone. That's on your tombstone. That is, that's a tombstone worthy. And the more I've said sure. it, the more it's grown on Augie, and I think he's going to run away. I think and I'm going to start line. using that uh -huh. one. That's a good one. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I had to say that to your face. I'm like, you I don't know if that would have worked on me, but. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> You that have, is definitely only one way to find out. I had enough drinks at a park in New York for it to work on me. So okay, it, it depends. It depends on who's saying it. If it's Leonardo DiCaprio, maybe. But. You can say whatever he wants. Yeah, <laughs> not it just depends. Yes. Well, they are wrapping me. I could chat with you all day. This was the funnest interview I've been a part of, like in a very long time. Aww. And I'm so excited for audiences to see players. I love a romantic comedy that's actually funny. So congratulations to the actually, three of you. You guys killed it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, thank you so much. It was nice to meet thank you. you. So great to meet you. Bye, Joel. Good to see you again. Bye. Oh.